Hi, welcome back to the channel. So those of you who are keeping up with the world of AI, you may know that uh, we are having a revolution happening right now in 2022 between AI writers and now the generation of AI art. Uh, you may think that uh, the world of creativity is going to the robots and you know there's a pretty good case to make of that with engines like Stable Diffusion and Mid Journey coming into play. Uh, you'll see that um, art made by um, AI uh, is actually getting pretty good, and while there's still some room for it to improve, uh, I don't think it's long before it gets there. And because of this uh, new generation of art on the way, you have different uh, companies now taking um, use of these models in order to create their um, specific you know, art styles. And I actually have, um, I want to show you real quick, there's a couple of these that I went ahead and, and bought it not long ago um, that utilize these engines. In particular, you have here AISEO, uh, which I'll show you I picked up from AppSumo a while back. And um, what this does is this uses, I think, the stable, uh, I think this uses the stable diffusion engine, I'm not sure. But it's um, it gives you 800 credits for a month. And then over here I got uh, Super Machines, which I like a little bit better. Same deal. Um, generally it does, the, again, this one is on the, on the stable diffusion engine. But it does the same thing. You put in prompts and it gives you particular um, outputs. And then there's another one I like over here called uh, Wombo by Dream. This is not a paid app. This is just something that you can go check out um, for free. Uh, and you can generate as many different images as you want. But the way it works essentially is if you have an idea, like let's say I want to have um, let's see a bar room battle between frogs and cats and then I'll give it a um, I like the comic style a lot so I'll give it a comic book style here and actually I'm going to copy the prompt in case I need it uh, you'll notice that I have 38 uh, characters that I'm using out of 200 that I'm allowed I do have the um, comic selection although I can choose any of these if I want to and they are adding new prompts it seems like daily I mean every time I come back here there's more like I don't remember surreal last time I was here but then you can either create now or you can upload an image to um, show a model. And in this case, if you do an image, you might uh, be able to um, highlight either the shapes or colors or get it close to the original model as you can. This is how I ended up with um, some really clever uh, images for potential book covers that are based on images I've already created that uh, I actually want to use because they are impressive. But I can show you all that um, a little later if you want to see it. But for now, what I want to do is show you what happens if I generate this line using the comic prompt from Wombo Dream. And while that's doing that, I'm going to do the same thing in these other two um, assets here. And um, I'll show you real quick. This We're going to come back to this in a minute. I want to show you. This is the resultant image of something that I generated a little while ago. I'll show you the prompt that did that, but we're going to erase it for now because I want to do the same thing here. And then we're going to go over into Super Machines and do the same thing. And again, there's the, my uh, coffee girl, which I'll show you there in just a minute. But I want to generate the frogs and cats. And notice I'm not doing any filters here. Um, I could generate filters using one of these styles, um, or I could do an advanced styling where I um, try to mimic one of these, but for now I just want to keep it plain. And we're going to hit generate and we'll see what we come up with. And so we're going to actually um, look at the image here. Um, you'll see that this image here doesn't look like a barroom battle with cats and frogs, but um, it's, uh, you know, you've got cats and frogs in the art image, so that's all good. Uh, but over here you have a bar, but there's no frogs or uh, cats. I don't know where the battle is, but it's a pretty good image of a bar. And this is again from AISEO art. And over here in Super Machines, um, you'll see we got similar to the one that AISIO presented, but uh, we have a pool table now. I didn't really ask for a pool table, but um, you can see I, ha I have no uh, frogs and cats in this image either, but uh, Dream at least try to give me one. And actually I'm going to name this because I like the image. So uh, cats and frogs drinking together. Okay, and then we'll give it a little prompt. You know, cats, frogs, bar. Okay, and then we'll publish because I, I want to keep that. It's pretty cool. All right, 
So, and oh, this is the resultant car that I can share if you all want to get it. Anyway, you can see it's pretty straightforward. Um, it didn't give me anything particularly impressive, but nothing I hate. You know, I, I like these images. Unfortunately, this is going to go into my um, my generator. But you'll notice that uh, there's some better examples of cats and frogs that AI that users of AISO used. Um, and so, like, if we look at let's say this one. Um, You'll see they had the photo realistic steampunk cat sitting at a bar. And then uh, this one, particularly interesting. Um, somehow there's hamsters involved. But you'll notice that this one has a much stronger detailed image. And so it gave you a more interesting result. And that's kind of what I want to show you guys today on this particular uh, video. Because um, I actually created a new uh, Excel sheet. Those of you who've been following along for the last couple of years, know that I've um, been creating things with my various tools like uh, Excel and Scrivener and all that and so today I thought well let me generate or let me create a, a spreadsheet that'll actually help me generate more detailed images so this is uh, if you come over here to my AI prompts here this is the AI uh, art and prompt description converter and you can see where I added different uh, uh, prompts here based off of these or different answers based on these prompts and over in the conversion panel it created this string and really all I'm doing is I'm just making it easier on myself to see what um, I can generate. So you guys saw the images of the girl with the coffee. Um, that was actually this prompt here or this series of prompts that uh, resulted in this conversion. And it gave me, um, if I go back to my generated images here, it gave me this girl. It gave me this girl. And then over in Wombo, uh, if I go to my thing here it gave me this girl and the one over on the right this one is using the, the comic I added an extra parameter with the comic uh, setting um, and also you can see that it generated this girl um, didn't like this one as much but uh, this is based off the realistic uh, design but you can see that uh, it gave me a much better result than if I just put girl with coffee and just to prove that, if we go back into Dream, um, let's see here. Um, if I go into Girl or Brunette with Coffee, if I just some, do something generic like that, and let's say give it uh, Comic, you know, generate it, uh, you'll find that it'll give me something reasonable, but probably not as detailed as what we just saw. It's fine. I like it. It's good. Uh, but it didn't really capture anything that I feel like I contributed to, although I do like this image. Um, reserved coffee drinker. Oops. And then just go open up coffee. Okay. Polish. Um, yeah, so it, it will give you good results, but. Um, if you want something particular and refined, then it doesn't hurt to actually come up with um, something more detailed. So if we go back to the prompts here, let's actually try my frog example. So we want to have um, frogs and cats in a bar, or actually that's going to be a part of our settings. Um, let's see, throwing beer at each other, and then um, for the object focus, we want to focus on, um, I think we want gruff creatures. And you don't need to fill in all these. I just I gave you up to four in order to make it easy on you, but you're not required to do that. And if you do need more, you can just uh, use more commas. Um, gruff creatures, and let's say um, what in stools um, we'll say um, surrounded by broken glass all right and we're gonna leave the fourth one empty because I, I we've already got a cluttered mess here and then our background is um, it's gonna be a bar room bar room I don't know if it's should space it or make it one 
Uh, we want it in a bar. And then for the color, we want it uh, lively and violent. <laughs> so, uh, actually, I don't know. We'll see what happens with violent. It might not generate because of the word violent. They may not like the word violent. You know what? Let's not use, let's say hectic. There's some keywords you don't want to use in these generating tools because um, they don't. As they might not work. Uh, there are censored words and just AI generating. I don't think anything on Stable Diffusion has that since that runs off your engine. But I think Wamba will have a problem with that. Um, and then we want uh, wide shot for this one. Um, now for the camera, I don't really care about the camera type. Uh, so what we'll say we'll call it. Um, uh, I'll just keep it can. I like the Canon Rebel. I'll just keep that for my typical shot there. Now this assumes it's going to be a detailed um, image. Actually, what we could do is instead of that, let's do a watercolor. Change my mind. We're not going to do a photo. We're going to do a we're going to do a painting that's in watercolor. And then of course the detail. We just say uh, HD is fine. I don't really need anything crazy. And then for the model, um, this is where, like, if you have something like um, this one, the super machine here, um, you can actually get some ideas through here, but you can also demonstrate an artist. So if you have an artist you know and like and want to imitate, you can do that. So we'll say for this model, we're going to use a, uh, um, maybe Van Gogh. No, nah, I don't want to do Van Gogh. Um, I don't know who... You know, for this, I'm just going to say comic style because I have no idea who I want to imitate right now. So we'll just do comic style and then the image size. We don't need to fill this in. Um, I'll just, I'm going to leave, well, I'll put landscape. All right. So, but you can see this will already populate. Now I left four alone. So when I go over to the conversions here, you'll see that's already populated. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the box in there or click on the box. I'm going to right click. It's much easier if you right click, I'm going to copy. Um, this is instead of copy paste. And then I'm going to come in into the descriptor here and then paste it. But I want to get rid of this extra comma since I had a blank there. And then um, we'll copy it again from here because we're going to duplicate that in AISO. And we'll go ahead and generate, see what it comes up with. I'm going to do the same thing here in. Oops, did it not? Okay, it's gone. Do the same thing in ASIO. Generate, and I'll do. Uh, Wombo's got a um, a limit, so I do want to make sure. Let's see, I'm at the watch the prompt limit here. All right, I got enough, so we'll, I do need to pick a style. So we'll go comic again, and then we'll create, and we'll see what happens with all those. So. There we go. With, um, this is Super Machine. It gave me this picture. It's uh, a little messy, but remember, I I styled it off of a comic, so it's gonna be look, looks like an actual like newspaper comic. I actually think that's pretty cool for a newspaper looking comic. Uh, ASIO gave me this. Oh, that's that's much friendlier looking than I expected. But um, I don't know what's happening with this dude over here. But um, definitely, again, looks like a comic strip comic that's that's kind of what i asked for and then you go into wombo dream and wombo dream has a bit of a, a challenge sometimes with um if it's too complicated it might give you split images but you can see it try to capture some of the prompts like the um all the glass flying around you see that that one did that let's actually do another one here uh, if you don't like how that came out we can try a different style so we'll, we'll do the same thing and see if it comes up with a different generation that we like better I don't really like to split images. Oh, this is much better. I can already tell. So again, it's a little kind of creepy looking, but um, <laughs> it, it, it's definitely trying to get something that's unique and interesting. And it does follow along with my um, various prompts that I wanted. So we'll do uh, so frog bar. Frogs, not Fergus. Frogs bar. Okay, and then publish. And there you go, Frog Bar Insanity. So, um, 
it does, by the way, go into your, it doesn't always show up here, but you'll see that it did show up here. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, an example of what you can do with this. Again, th while the technology gets more improved, uh, these generations should get better. If you have Midjourney, Midjourney seems to be the, the one that does the best job with generation right now. Um, I just I don't have Midjourney because it's a little more expensive than the others, and you have to go through um, um, Discord to use it. Um, and I think it's public unless you, you pay extra for the private server. Uh, at least for these tools, like this is all like my private collection. There's no one's going to take this and use it for their own work. And this image here I actually just used recently as a, um, a model to update my uh, shell out book cover, uh, which should be interesting. Um, so that's the other advantage too of having these kinds of tools is if you are uh, looking for a uh, bit of a, a um, I guess if you're looking for, not assistance, but if you, if you want to um, get something that's unique that you're not going to find off of stock images, but you also don't have the money to pay for artists um, who are... Uh, very particular in their craft. You know, this this is a way to kind of up your game a little bit. You never want to use just the image plane. Um, if you're going to use a composition, obviously you'll probably use filters and things. Um, there's still some um, questions about what the legality is of using these kinds of images for commercial art. Um, so like Wombo in particular, this is a free app. So I, I don't know ex um, exactly what the limits are as far as using it let's see on a book cover which is you know what I, I would want to use it for uh, but like these here I mean you're already paying for the right to use the tool and they're using the um, the basin engine which I think is um, open source so typically you'd be able to use these um, for commercial purposes if, if you wanted to I believe I mean you have to check the um, the private the uh, terms of uh, service and all that of course but um, but anyway yeah that's uh, uh, you, the AI art in a nutshell, but this that's also um, the tool here that I have in a nutshell. And of course, you know you can go and go to the next thing if you want to do more objects. So anyway, I um, I left you room for 24 objects, um, or you can if you want to get rid of the example and do your own, you can make 25. Uh, it's really easy to add uh, if you need to go beyond 24, 25. All you gotta do is just you know copy the last two bars and then draw a line across. Uh, you'll have to probably change the size, but um, over here in conversions, conversions is a little more tricky because you have to copy the prompt the series up here and then change it to the uh, the cells that match the prompt in this column. Um, I find it's easiest to use to find and select prompt, and then once you're actually they are just replaced with a new series. So you can see my prompt. Um, my final replace looks like this. Just do the, replace the um, exclamation C with the exclamation um, cell that you want. It makes it easier to just update. That's all I did with this. So you don't necessarily need to erase and start over once you hit 24, unless you wanted to. If you, you could always do like a save as and do, do like a series two images, and that way you can you know keep. If you want to do like a particular um, series of object types, then that might be um, to your advantage, and then. You know, you can use this however you want, but um, basically what you want to do in order to get this tool is you're going to go to my Beacon resource library. Uh, ignore that. That's not something you need to worry about here. If you go to the resource library um, in the templates, um, so in the uh, actual, for you guys, it'll look like this. Um, you can search by category. Of course, this is based off of the AI prompt spreadsheet. You can where you just show all whatever you want to do. Um, you see I have all the different categories and formats and things. Uh, I don't think I, I need to probably update this. this yeah, this needs to show XL. All right, I do got one tip, I got, or one thing I gotta modify. Uh, but anyway, it's down here. It's AI, AI Art Prompt to Description Converter. You just click on the box and then you just get the resource. Um, this is not under a zip file, so it should uh, be able to just download directly. Um, but uh, yeah, just if you get the resource here, it's going to open up a preview file. Um, actually, no, it's going to save right to your uh, right to your downloads. Never mind. Um, if it ever does open up a new window and, and ask you to download again, just look for a little icon up in the upper right. Uh, usually, you can find the um, download link up there if, if it doesn't automatically do it. I know you you got to do that for the Scribner uh, files because of the they're under zip files. 
and zip files um, don't have previews. So anyway, but that's um, yeah, that's the new tool I made today. Um, it's real easy to use, and again, the purpose of this really is just to make it easy for you to come up with detailed prompts if you are going to use AI generation. You don't have to use it. I mean, clearly you can get some decent photos just by writing, you know, frog with you know frog at bar, and it'll come up with something interesting. But if you want it really specific. Uh, look or designs to your images. Um, it does help to have more parameters to it, and um, this will help you get there. So anyway, it's up to you to use it. You don't have to, but it's there if you want it. Uh, let me know what you think of it if you do use it. This is not really the kind of thing I plan to update. I don't really have any idea what I would do to update it, um, unless there's uh, a need for other yeah, like if you want like a photo gallery, I'll be, but again, I, I feel like that's something you probably build separately. But because um, it doesn't translate well between prompts and images unless you scale them. Uh, but again, that's something you can add on your own if you want it. Um, you can certainly modify this however best suits your needs. If you need to add extra parameters, you can do that. Um, I'm just giving you the framework. So, uh, but that's all. Um, Again, let me know what you think. Don't forget, I have these other resources. If you want to, um, if you're a Kindle Vela author, and you want to track your stats. Four uh, B is currently the most recent. I do have five planned. Uh, I just haven't started it yet, so I don't know when that's going to happen. I had thought to have it ready by December, but I've been working on it because I got other things. So we'll see. Uh, storage plan in general. This is still in alpha mode. Uh, I have not started on three. Well, I have, I don't know what is going to be in three because I haven't actually tracked what my uh, what the difference is between one and two and where three is. So I, I got to sort all that out before I can determine what actually belongs to alpha three. But two is, is here for you if you want it. It's, uh, it is a complicated tool, so I would really only recommend this for those of you who are uh, extremely anal about your stories. Um, and then down here is uh, NaNoWriMo is currently in uh, progress. So if you have not started on your NaNoWriMo project, uh, now is as good of a time as any. I have these basic templates can download. Um, one is for any version of Scrivener. This one is uh, specifically for three. Um, but they're the same file, basically. Uh, same same elements. Just uh, one's pre-made for three. The other you have to convert. So that's it. Uh, let me know what you think of my tools uh, on uh, you know, Scrivener, Excel, all that. And then let me know what you think of AI art. You know, is it a fad or is it the, the next generation of, uh, of art for us uh, people who can't draw <laughs> I don't know but anyway that's it for today thanks for watching um, don't forget to like subscribe do all the things youtubers tied to do and uh, see you for the next video thanks have a good day bye